Hey everyone, this is Pratik. Welcome to another lecture on PHP. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic chart, a pie chart using PHP, MySQL, and uh, Google libraries. Okay, so just so let's just take a look for this. Uh, this script to world work, we need this uh, this API from Google. The the address is https www.google.com slash gs api that is JavaScript API. Then from the API, what we need is Google dot load. Uh, okay, the, uh, that is telling the this library uh, that what to load that is Google dot load visualization library we have to load visualization library and the package code chart okay so there are different types of chart like pie chart uh, then uh, uh, bar chart a table charts and others okay so we are going to export whole package you can export one package but I'm gonna export all the package okay like one package means like only pie chart I need okay. uh, then there is Google dot set load callback so this is this is important because as soon as uh, library get load so on load what happens uh, the system uh, we can say the library make a call to draw chart function so that's what we're gonna mm, uh this will uh declare now or you can say uh, make there here so this is function draw chart okay so first of all what we need we need google dot visualization array to data table so this is important okay visualization google dot visualization that is library that dot there is a function name array to data tip okay so uh, what i need is an array to convert it to the data table and after that whatever is that is uh, first thing let me explain you the google is working on tables to create uh, you can say to create a pie chart you need a table okay actually you need a table to create a pie chart so this function converts an array to data table so at this moment there is no data in it that's why when you over to this they say table has no call because nothing I, I have I mentioned nothing in the uh, function yet that's why there is nothing um, and one more thing that is very important here uh, down here I have given chart ID chart div as an id but to a div and the div is going in there i'm gonna show you what this means in a little while first what i need now you got a, a clear picture that um, for this library to work we need a uh we need a tip uh, uh, uh array so that the visualization dot array to data table converter convert the array to Data table. Okay, so uh, you gonna uh, you, you what you need is a is an array. Okay, so that's what we gonna do. First of all, let me show you the MySQL. Now uh, let's just see the uh, structure of our table. Uh, this is uh, MySQL table. Uh, simple ID then tape uh, title. So this is you know this then there are options like stone cold or uh, uh, big bang pratik singh superman elephant iron man values okay so this is a simple one so now what we need an array from our uh, mysql so for that uh, what we need we need uh, first of all this because uh, you can uh, okay 
this is and uh, as you can see there is x that is coming because i need to get the new value and then then need to know what what gets updated okay for that okay let's just see now the main thing we need my skill okay then carry and saying that okay let's uh, let's just say up update or set value equal to value plus 10 yeah we are opt opt equal to x okay so this is it then just quickly carry uh, carry equal to my sql my sql carry sql carry and then say select opt okay that is mean that means option i need option uh, as simple as it is i need option I need an option okay then I need a value then I need a title title okay from all of this from pole okay then I just simply say this okay now if uh, Jerry this is important to take care of uh not carry not carry i'm just cut this to chase because mm, error correction and detection is not a part okay then my url and this so i i, I create a, a array it is array and giving him like this option and value so what i have done here this is the trick that i have to to create but what, what i have done here is this that uh, i need i need to know uh i, I have created uh, because what is what there is i have to create a table now, table has two attributes that option and value so i have i created a, a, a array an array uh, giving the first value on initialization as option and value okay let's just say okay then i have to populate this um, array uh, by accessing all the values from the uh, MySQL. So I done this MySQL query again. MySQL fetch. It is fetch. So shared query. This is uh, query. And I send this. This and I say, okay, my uh, my URL, my URL. My URL equal, uh, my URL equal to mm, no, my URL here. I'm, I, I already fetched the values, but I need here it is to get the title. So that's R and Title from in there. Then I need option opd equal to r and then opd close it. Okay. 
then I need that equal to there is value I need but what's the value at right at this moment so I said uh, me value then at last I have to say my URL and I'm saying okay dot uh, opt and this this is close and here we go at this end we am saying this this dot well dot this close this so you are uh, worrying about all this I, I know what I have already told you that there is a specific type of table that I have to create so that uh, a specific type of array I have to create so that uh, it, it got converted into a table basically I'm creating here is a JSON format uh, which uh, which uh, this function that is array to data table uh, recognize that's why I am setting this uh, open bracket and close brackets with the uh, with the data set that is option and value like I already told you that there is a two um, two columns in a table that is option and value and I am just populating the values in the in there okay option and value and just closing them with the brackets okay so uh, uh, this uh, uh, so uh, I think this part is over now uh, what we need here from here is to get ourselves here okay so what we need now we have the array so we simply have to put the array in here saying uh, echo mm, now now here is the another trick part that we have to play the actual table does not have a a, a, a comma in it okay but here we are uh, specifying certain commas in it because uh, we don't need these commas that's why we just implode it implode okay implode no uh, we're gonna implode it so so here we go and just saying here is my uh, URL and just closing the brackets here and closing the PHP. So this is done. Now here comes the title. So we have title. This options basically these are options. There are many options available. Go through the visualization. Uh, this I mean code chart uh, package. You got yourself with many options still i'm just leaving you with the title so go title so, title and we close it this is it okay so this okay and we close it oh, then after all that this function has to be called okay this here converts your data converts the array to a data table that is data now we have to pass the data table to this function to create a pie chart so we are saying that pie chart okay so where we want the pie chart to be visualized we want it to, in a div chart div Outside oh, is chart div. So here I created the uh, div char uh, whose ID is chart div, and we said now taking this that chart dot draw data 
you know the data table that we have created through this uh, this work that is here and all the options I have passed through it. Okay, now hopefully this will work. Let's save it. Go through here and voila. So here we are. You see everything works fine. Everything is working good. Uh, we are populated with the now now I, I have to I have to prove you that this is dynamic and then look at the values. This is pretty let, let's just look this value and I'm gonna click here as a polling to now the value changes. Isn't it? Yes, the values change. Let's just click once more so that you get clear shot here. Look, the value again changes. So it's a dynamic view. It's, it's good for pollings. Now let's just create it in a 3D. It's not a long code, just one change here. A new uh, option available, or you can say attribute that is, uh, is 3D. Okay. So I'm going to set it to two. Okay. Then I say save. Let's just see what will happen. Voila. So once again, uh, you see this is a 3D view. It's good to. There are a lot of charts available, like bar chart and others. Only you need to edit here. Like here is pie chart. You have to edit with the uh, bar chart. Okay. The package remains same, just the bar chart here. Maybe different data table, but uh, what I told you in this lecture is this that uh, you have to create a data table. You have to create an array such that in adjacent values so that it gets converted to a table. So this is how this tutorial works. Hope you like the like it and hope you uh, hope you have if you have any uh, query please mail me to pratik16 at gmail.com and if you need any other tutorial please mail me to the same mailing address thank you for uh, watching friends